What are you doing right now, man? What are you doing right now, man? Right now, ask yourself, what are you doing right now? Are you doing things that will contribute to your growth? Into your future, into your self-development? Or are you just playing like everybody else, playing Fortnite, procrastinating all day? That's what they do, man. Number one thing that holds most people back from doing what they love and being happy is the opinions of other people. Like, you got a dream? Why don't you go chase after it? Chase after your goals. Chase after what you truly love. I know a lot of people want to try new things and do new things, but they're afraid. They're afraid of what other people are going to say. They're, they're afraid to get laughed at if they fail because they're afraid of other people's opinions. Like, did you die because they laughed at you? Did you die because of their opinions? Why are you so stressed about something that you have absolutely no control over? Like, they're other people's opinions. Who cares? Ask yourself, who, who, who are you doing the things that you do for? Things that you love? Yourself? Well, the other people laughing at you. Ask yourself right now. Who are you doing the things that you love for? Them or you? Why should their opinions matter if they're so irre irrelevant to your life? That you don't even know those people, like. So what if they laugh at you? You gotta do those things that you truly love, you know what I'm saying? Think about how lucky you are right now to be alive, how blessed you are. It's not death that people are afraid of. It's that nearing the, their death and realizing that they have not truly lived their life to the fullest and potential because they were afraid to chase their dream because of what other people think. Like, they haven't really chased their passion, what they're passionate about, what they love because they made excuses and delayed them and ended up not doing them at all. It's never too late to find what you're passionate about. You can be 50 and you haven't, still haven't found what you're passionate about. Well guess what, I got the answer for you. The easiest way to find your passion is to start trying and doing new things. Most people these days are so afraid to try new things because they're afraid they're gonna fail. They're gonna fail. And they're gonna get laughed up by other people, and they're they're afraid that they won't be good enough because they failed. Most people are like, oh, what if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't work? Why, why don't you change your mindset a little bit? Like, what if it does work? Because most people these days are like, what if it doesn't work? What if it does work? Ask yourself right now. What if it does work? Think about the possibilities. If your ideas in your head actually work. Stop thinking about the negative things that like what can happen. Like, but you're never actually going to know if it works or not if you don't actually do those things. If they're just stuck in your head. If you're just procrastinating all day, thinking about all the things that you want to do in life, like planning and planning and planning. But you don't actually get to do them because you made excuses in your head. It's like what if it doesn't work? You like you've got to actually do them. But if it doesn't work, don't worry if it doesn't work. Don't worry if it didn't work. Got a solution. The next, I know the next step. The next step is you gotta try other things. The beauty of failure is, like when you fail at something that you try, when you fail at that thing that eliminates one thing, you know that that wasn't meant for you. you know, that wasn't your passion. It wasn't what you're passionate about. But the beauty of it is that eliminates one thing that you have to try to get to your destination to find what you're really passionate about. You shouldn't be afraid to fail. In fact, you should be aiming to try so many things and actually fail at them. Not, not necessarily aim to fail at them, but you have to try new things. And if you fail at them, that, that eliminates that eliminates them. Like That brings you one step closer to what you're trying to find, what you're passionate about. What failure does is it, it helps you learn what to do next time. Like, Oh, I failed. I did it wrong. I made a mistake. Oh, what failure does is it helps you determine what to do next time, what not to do next time. Like, oh, I failed at that. I made a mistake. I'm not doing that thing again because that was a mistake. So that, that helps you avoid the things that was not for you or that fail as many times as you can. Like, who's counting your failures? Ain't nobody counting your failures. 
nothing's going to happen to any of your ideas if you don't actually start doing them. Like, what are you doing, man? Like, ask yourself. There's just so many ideas in your head, but you're not actually doing them. You're just procrastinating all day. Playing video games, playing Fortnite, and all that stuff. Like, what's the point if you're just going to sit there, think, and plan, plan, plan? If you don't actually do those ideas in your head, like, nothing's... You're not going to make any progress. They're just going to be stuck in your heads. You have to be practical. You have to do... Most people are so afraid to try new things. Because they're afraid you're going, they're not going to be good enough. They won't be good enough. Thing is, you have to start from the bottom, the bottom, and work your way up to the top. There ain't, there ain't no shortcuts. You got to put in the time to work. You want to start going gym, but you're afraid because yeah, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to work out. And ask yourself, how are we how are we gonna learn how to work out if you don't actually start working out? How are you gonna you have to fail and actually learn from your failures? To know what you're doing next. Most people are just so lazy these days. Like, I'm not going to start singing. I, I don't know how to. I'm not going to write. I'm not good at writing. I'm not doing that. I'm not good at that. But I want you to tell me right now, like, how are you going to make any progress? How are you going to learn how to do those things? If you don't actually start doing those things, you have to gain experience and actually learn from your past experiences, from your failures. So you can progress and learn and get better. What do you think is just gonna, gonna magically happen? Like procrastinate all day? Like no, you, you gotta start doing those things. You gotta do. It's such a simple concept that I feel so stupid to say because it's just so basic. Yet people make all these dumbass excuses to delay and not actually do them. It's all just a matter of doing what you love. You cannot make any progress. If you don't do it. But guess what? You don't have to be great to start. But you have to start doing to be great. And guess what? It doesn't matter where you came from. Your circumstances. What's happening in your life right now. None of that matters. It's not about what you have. It's about what you do with what you have. This applies to everyone. Like You want to be a rapper? You got to start rapping. You want to be a singer? You got to start singing. You want to be a basketball player? You got to start ball You got to start balling out. Like... You wanna be creator, you gotta you gotta start creating. It ain't ever too late to start doing your things, like you could be fifty, like sixty. No matter what age, color or gender you are, like the sky's the motherfucking limit, y'all. All you gotta do is start doing, like if you say, I'll do it later. Well that's what that's that's what most people say these days. I'll do it later. I'll do it later, but most of the time what happens is it becomes a habit, but People don't actually realize it because people get so com comfortable with their lives that they don't actually end up doing the things that they actually want to do to get better and improve themselves. Look at me like, when people laugh, I'm going to make a mistake. I just laugh at them like, because they're already below me like, think about it right? Instead of laughing at me, they could be working on themselves. Just like I'm, just like I do, like I just, mom, my, my, just mind your own business, like stay in your own lane. Cause like the more you think about what other people are doing, that's less time for you to work on yourself. Just think about it. When people, when people are, are bringing other people down, like how does that make them any better? They could be using that time and energy to work on themselves instead of bash other people or bring other people down. Like I don't see, I don't see the point, man. Like. People these days are so ignorant They will laugh at you because you're trying to work on yourself Trying to do new things like Things that you're trying to do that you haven't learned before They will laugh at you because you're not that good But think about it like When they're laughing at you What are they doing? They're just wasting their energy instead of Laughing at you They could be using all that time to um To work on themselves and better themselves and try new things but instead they're just laughing at you for trying new things because they're so comfortable and afraid to try new things themselves and that, that's how you know that they're already below you if, some, if, you, if you got any hate, any hater it's so funny I just laugh at it man like, if you have any hater think about it they could be using all that time and energy to work on themselves but I'm actually thankful for the haters you know like giving me attention like 
attention is a very valuable thing like time and attention like when they give you attention think about it like they're giving you their attention instead of work working on themselves I just feel so stupid talking about it because people these days are so stupid life is a blessing don't take it for granted find your passion and get to work what is going on YouTube? I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from that video. That was I've been wanting to do that video for so long now. But I've just delayed it because I've been busy with other stuff. But I really, really wanted to do this video and actually start this thing on my YouTube channel. But I just didn't have got the time around to it. But this is my new well, my first time doing this. I'm just trying something new. And I've actually really wanted to do this for so long now, just, you know, to motivate other people around me, just push the positive vibes. First, I wasn't really confident enough, so I actually practiced on Snapchat. I know some of you viewers out there will know, because y'all follow me on Snapchat and stuff, but I actually practiced on Snapchat a little bit. But I've always wanted to be an influence on other people other people and actually motivate them to actually do better in life and just keep pushing that positive vibe staying locked in so I'll be calling this these kind of videos Monday motivational videos so every Monday I'm gonna be posting motiv motivational videos like this and hopefully I, I see progress and improvement through my journey on doing these videos you know like I know it's just I'm, I just feel kind of weird because it's my first time doing this, but hopefully I get better and improve. Talking about these things to the camera, it's it's just kind of weird. Like like I I usually do this to other people like one on one. I just talk to them and like well, it's kind of weird talking in front of the camera in front of yourself. Just you know. So I'll be posting these motivational videos telling you guys how to stay motivated and stay locked in every Monday so make sure you guys stay tuned leave a comment down below like hit that like button and subscribe button and turn on that post notification so every time I post a video you guys are notified thanks for watching again guys and I'll see y'all in the next